So today we're starting a new unit. It is unit four, stoichiometry. Make sure on this first page you put your name and the block, which is second period or second block. Here's the table of contents. You can look through, see what we're doing each day. Today being the first day we are on this unit, you are going to do the molar mass, the moles to gram one step, and the grams to mole one step. I know it's three things. I know it kind of seems like a lot, but those three things are very simple and they're very similar, so it shouldn't take you long to do all three of them. So jumping to our PowerPoint, our first topic. So if you go to the molar mass page, your first topic is molar mass. Remember, you can pause these videos wherever you need to to write your notes or to type your notes. And um, if for some reason it's not letting you play just in the slides, it's making you play in the presentation mode, I'll show you an old digital notebook. And here's a way for you to go straight to the YouTube video so you don't have to, um, so it could be on two different slides. So that way you don't have to exit out every time. If you click on the video, click play. See for here, it should let you play. If it's too small, you can make it full screen. Or you can click the YouTube video and it pulls it up in the YouTube in the different slides. So that way you could go back and forth and take your notes. So back to that. So your topic is molar mass and your goal is I can find the molar mass of compounds. So the mole, what is a mole? It is the amount of a substance, a unit and measurement specific to chemistry. And you can see it in the following three ways. Mole spelled M-O-L-E, mole spelled M-O-L, and then the N is sometimes representative of mole. So just a reminder, if it's red, you need to have it typed out and underlined or highlighted. And then if it's underlined in these notes, it is either the definition for what's in red or just important information you need to know for the test. And again, I'm not pausing for you guys to write down because that is what your pause button is for. So after I do a slide that has something to, that you need to write down, hit the pause button, top it down, and then you can go back and continue the video. So the mole, it's a number used to explain the amount of something, kind of like how a dozen represents 12 or um, how a ream of paper is 500 sheets. A mole is Avogadro's number. So you need to know that Avogadro's number is the number of particles is the number of particles in one mole. That number is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. So molar mass, also known as the molecular weight. So one mole of each substance has a molar mass or a specific weight. It is the same as the atomic mass, only the unit you use is grams per mole. So for example, if you have one mole of Na, you can open in a new tab, ptable.com, find Na. Whatever the mass number or this bigger number is, that is also your molar mass. So the molar mass for Na would be 22.99. So one mole has 22.99 and the unit you'll use is grams per mole. Okay, so one mole of carbon, you will find carbon over here. The bigger number is the mass, which is 12.011. So your molar mass is 12.011 and your unit is grams per mole. In your notes, I want you to write the molar mass for lithium. So what is the molar mass of lithium? You'll look at your periodic table, find lithium, the bigger number is the mass number, and the unit will be grams per mole. So go ahead, type that down in your notes for your example. 
So here's how we find the molar mass for compounds. So to find the molar mass for compounds, the easiest way for me is to list each element. Next to that element, put how many you have. Well, here for H2O, we have two hydrogens, so I'll put the number two, and then I'll put an X. For O, we only have one. Next, I write the mass. So we look at the periodic table for H. The mass is 1.008, so 1.008. And then for oxygen, we have 15.999. So you'll type in a calculator what 2 times 1.008 is. So we will do 2 times 1.008 to Point zero zero eight two point zero one six two point zero one six and then we will do fifteen point nine 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 times one which is just fifteen point nine 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 once you have those two numbers you add these two numbers together so two point zero one six oops plus 15.999 equals 18.015, 18.015, and that will be grams per mole. That's how you find the molar mass. So let's do it for, Let's do this next one together. We'll save this one for last. So the first thing I do is I list the different elements. So here we have PB, we have N, and we have O. We have one PB because there's only a one there. For here, we have one N, but there's a two outside, so you have two ends, if you remember from Huntley balanced equations. Now for oxygen, we have three, but there's two outside of the parentheses, so you'll do two times three, which is six. Now we need to find the mass for each of the elements, so on your periodic table, we'll find PB. And PB is right here, number 82. The mass is this big number at the bottom, so it'll be 2.0 or 207.2. So 207.2. 1 times 207.2 is just 207.2. Now we need to find nitrogen's or N's mass. So here's N. The bigger number is the mass. So it'll be 14.007. So 14.007. Well, so 2 times 14.007 is 14.007. Times 2 is 28.014. 28.014. Okay, now we will do oxygen. So we'll find oxygen on the periodic table. It has a mass of 15.999. So 15.999 times 6 is what we need to do because we have 6 of them. So, 15.999 times 6 is going to be a pretty big number. Eh, not too bad. 95.994. 95.994.
Now, if you remember, now that we have all three of these numbers, we add those numbers up. So 95.994 plus 28, I'll have to do that again, plus 28.014 plus 207.2. Equals 331.208. So 331.208 grams per mole. In your notes, I want you to find the molar mass of NaCl. First, you'll list the elements. Then you'll put how many of each element you have times the mass. And then you'll add those numbers up once you've done that for every element. So in your notes, right quick, do NaCl. So here, once you've done that in your digital notebook, if you go to your next slide, here are the examples you need to do. If it's easier for you to write out the problems and work it out on paper, you're more than welcome to. Just make sure you put your answers here or you turn the paper into my desk with your name on it so I know it is yours. And on top of that paper, put molar mass practice so I know which one it goes with. So either work on it here um, in your digital notebook or on paper.